Hey guys, uh, I decided to sell my camper van. It's a DIY camper van, LDV Maxus. Uh, so I'm just going to make a short video with the van. There's the doors. So this is the back area. Uh, there's a composting toilet, which is it can it can be included in the sale if somebody wants it, but it doesn't have to be. It's not everybody's cup of tea. There's a shower tray. That's my shower and uh, you know water bottles and stuff. So in the daytime, that, that turns into a sit. Just to get on. It's not easy to get all the time. Yep. There's a stove which will will be included in the. So this is an alcohol stove, not cheap one, thematic. Right. This is all my uh, the electrics, a 220 amp battery from Alpha's battery, uh, 240 which is connected, unfortunately that doesn't light up, it doesn't really matter, a piece of uh, charger, an inverter, just a, to know how good is this inverter, so it's, I don't know, it does, it does uh, use quite a lot of power if you, if you need anything like, like a thing to use it. Anyway, let's carry on. This is wardrobe, all the electrics go into the lights and all that, and there's a bar there so you can put your stuff. This side is the control panel. It doesn't show properly, but yeah, for the lights and all that. Lights are dimmable with the. Uh, you can see. Let's have a look. There you go. It's a brighter. Yeah, just use your remote controller. Okay, so that's. First socket is from the hookup. Uh, show you. So that comes from the hookup. The other one comes from the inverter. Turn me on. And then we go to the inverter. You can turn the inverter on from there. And we on. But with the inverter, I don't know how good it might just go off in a minute. This is using quite a bit. There you go, it's gone off. It's too, um, too much for it to turn it off. Anyway, just show you that's working. Do to breathe the phrase in. Close you off after. Space to put your pots and pans and pan for whatever, all your kitchen stuff. Water storage, fresh water, 25 litres, 10 litres for, I think it's a 10 litre for uh, grey water. With a hand tap. Quite efficient to be honest. So, this is a living and sleeping area. I got a uh, tricky charger, I never got around to install it, and I don't know why you do with it or anything. I can go out of the way. It's nice and personal. Yes, yeah, there's instructions and all that. I don't know how good it is or anything. It's supposed to be for transit vans, so. Don't know if it fits mine. So we got uh, cooler box which we can be included in the cell if the seller wants if the buyer wants it. Let's go in and show you working. Okay. 
Let's go over any longer. Just ignore that. It's it's a bit better than on the other side. Yes, five point seven. That doesn't show properly. Chinese stuff. <sighs> anyway, so that's the color box. Leave you on for a bit. This is the sofa bed. There's plenty of storage there. It's made by two by fours and. Um, you can see plywood in the back, plywood on the top, and uh, pallywood slats around. I was going to make a table there, but then when I put a, a table, a door there, but I had to close it in when I put the table stand, because it's not going to be enough space for it. Right. So that's your table. Which I don't really use much, to be honest, when I go. I'm killing myself with this. <laughs> yeah, table. This is how made by me. Yeah. Out of the way. And then again. I'm sorry about the. This is not going to be a brilliant video, but it's just to show how it works. So that'll be the sofa. This mattress goes over. Like that. <laughs> and we got the sofa. Just sitting there. You can do that off. This is a. The mattress coming from a caravan bed. So that folds over. Very difficult to put things in one hand. And there's like a hook there, another hook there, and this pulls out. There's a proper slide in. Do proper draw sliders. It holds 250 kilos. You see, I'm on it. It doesn't even move. So that just topples over and there's your bed. Which is a, a standard double bed, six foot long and uh, 123 wide. Right, so after the bed, we got the cupboard. Got loads of storage. There are towels there. There's some instructions for the stove and inverter. Some pages missing. This, this is all gonna come out. It's all food. I just want to show you how much you can fit in there. There's more storage where the stove gets stored overnight, and more storage in there. So as you can see, the, the shelf tray goes over the uh, wheel arch okay so that's that close all these things all these things I got I put some padding so just to stop them from rattling same in this side Yeah, again, this is the wardrobe. It's not easy to see it. Yeah, let's go this way. There you go. And the cables, all the cables. There's, there's some extra ones. Um, there is a, a 
the socket going down there. Oh, you see the cable coming from the hookup, and the other cable is the goes to the air point in here because you need an air pump. Same is for 12 volts and the other one. Right, so curtains. I just put a, like a clip in there. Oh. I know this is a bit, a bit rubbish. This uh, this video, but just want to show you. Right there, uh, I was gonna say. So the ceiling, on the ceiling, there is there is a twenty five mil uh, king span insulation. And there's like grips going across where the, all the wood is fitted on. We got the, the simple air vent. Open. There's storage. Got some storage in here. This is all insulated. I've, after we. I had to redo it because it wasn't insulated at first, so I insulated it. So now it's it's all good. And there's like there's like there's a cable going across all the way here to a light in here, which we're gonna put it on it in a second. Maybe you can find which one. That's it. Never used it. But yeah, if you want to, you know like to read an eye or something this comes across like that and it's dying up a bit but because i didn't use it it's just so yeah i wonder let me see this is proper stretch carpet and i mean it's it's done by me but a person who's never done anything like this before so I've got a small mirror in there as well but looks i think it looks good uh, the walls is I insulated as well. I put uh, a hundred mil. I think it was a hundred mil. Well, while well, it was possible, a hundred mil. Uh, I might have to. I might break break in two and a half in some places because it wasn't. If where the voids were deep enough, it was a hundred mil um, loft insulation, rock wool, as you call it. Which is waterproof. Um, well, is is not. It doesn't absorb water. It, as such, obviously, if it's going to rain on it, well, if so, you know, it will go funny. But it shouldn't be raining on it. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So this is my van. It's up for sale. Uh, I mean, the engine is, is. It is whatever it is. Um, yeah. More details, just just uh, send me a message. that will be easier just to explain. I got no service history to be doing with them, unfortunately. But yeah, so show you again. So all this side, with the shout tray, all this this is waterproof panel. So when you have a shower, you take your curtains off. You're in the middle, in the middle, and then uh, you just go and have a shower. Obviously, it's just a hand pump shower, as you as you see in uh, at the beginning of the video. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested, let us know. Thank you. Bye bye.